Farewell, David Astori. It is one of the saddest moments for Italian football. When the Fiorentina players gathered for their usual match day breakfast, they realized their captain wasn't there. David Astori had passed away, aged 31, overnight. He died in his sleep. A lovely guy, always available for a chat, and someone who always had the balls ready to put his face in front of the camera when needed as a captain. A man who enjoyed his life as a professional footballer, with a wife and a two-year-old daughter he loved. He had been made Fiorentina captain in the summer by Stefano Pioli and by the decision of the club and the changing. Davide Astori. The news from Udine hit the world of football very hard. Many could not believe it. Then it was made official. Astori had passed away in the hotel where Fiorentina was staying ahead of their game against Udinese. Cardiac arrest due to natural causes. Born in the province of Bergamo, he started his youth career at Pontisola before moving to AC Milan. He never got the chance to play for the Rossoneri first team. And after the loans at Pizzicattone and Cremonese in 2008, he moved to Cagliari, where his career had the breakthrough. He stayed in Sardinia for six seasons, then in 2014 he moved to Roma, in what everyone thought would be the turn of the career into something bigger and better. It didn't go as planned and he joined Fiorentina after just one season in the capital, becoming a Viola in 2015. He had turned 31 in January and had played 109 games for Fiorentina. One of the few big names to survive the revolution Fiorentina had to face in the summer transfer window, Astori immediately became the main leader of the team this season, putting his face forward when someone needed to speak out. It happened in the summer when the club struggled to sign new players and Astori said, we need five new signings, something the club did not like at the time but that showed his spirit and mentality. He always had time for fans and journalists in the positives and negatives. A story had convincingly grown into the role of the Viola captain. We have to take that for to bring the enthusiasm a little bit at the end of the year because I think it's fundamental to start us as you, as all of Firenze, with enthusiasm to open a new cycle and to do it as we hope to do it. Consistently in the group of players called up by Italy throughout his career, he played 14 games for the national team, but never making it to a major tournament. He did play the 2013 Confederations Cup, where he scored his only Azzurri goal against Uruguay to win the bronze medal. His last game was against Chievo, in which he served the assist for Fiorentina's winning goal. The last happy image of him celebrating with his teammates. A leader, a family man, a lovely human being. A story will never be forgotten. Ciao, Davide.